states so i'll go back to the model of the mind is it always unconscious yeah no if you see the model of the mind here um uh, the super ego is one half of the iceberg part of it is above and part of it is below so most of it is below on unco- uh, conscious level so what it does is basically it is it is um it is activated in a way that you are not aware of it you are not aware of your own control over your own self most of the time but part of the time you are aware um let me give you an example so for example like i gave you the example of a murder your it wants to murder somebody you hate but the unconscious super ego um stops you from doing that you're not aware of that process but you know that you're not going to go and murder somebody so where is that coming from where is that control coming from but on the other hand let's say you're on a diet and um, you know that you shouldn't be eating a burger you know and there is a voice in your head telling you all the time don't eat the burger don't eat the burger that's the super ego which you're aware of okay so that's where the super ego is exerting its control in a aware aware uh, state of mind like you're aware of that control over yourself but many of your other desires that you're not aware of which are not so simple to deal with like a diet um that that's where the super ego uh, uh, operates um under the uh, awareness so you wouldn't be aware of it mm-hmm.